I'm Kimberly Clark and this is my face. I've decided I'm finally at a point with my drag and my makeup and my mug and my face structure and my beat and everything where I can finally do like a full on drag makeup tutorial for this face, the Kimberly Clark signature phrase. I I'm really excited to share it with you. And so I've decided to split it up into five videos just because I really want you to be able to focus on each section and, and whatever section of the beat that you're interested in. Some people might really be interested in the structure. Some people might just be interested in the brows or the eyelashes, etc. So I've divided them up in, in that way and I'll be releasing them over the course of the next couple weeks. So this is the first video in that series. This is my base video, my full on kind of structure, the groundwork of my face. It's very different than my boy face. You'll see in the tutorial how much my face shape changes as I apply more product, but it is still, you know, not such a crazy dramatic drag face. It's a little softer, uh, which which I, I personally like. So here we go. Part one of my five part series. This is the base of my face. Enjoy. Hi. So I've already shaved my entire face, including my brows, washed it and moisturized. And now I'm going in with my e.l.f lip exfoliator. If you're going to wear a matte lip, you always want to exfoliate your lips. Then I'm going to apply my Lip Tar Primer from OCC. Use any balm. After you exfoliate, you always want to put on a balm, and it's good to just leave this on while you do the rest of your face. Then I'm using three primers, yikes! First is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This is just a matte primer, and I'm putting this on areas of my face where I get excess oil that I don't want to shine through my contour. For example, the sides of my nose and the tops of my brow where I'm going to have that cut crease. Also on my chin because I have a lot of acne right now. And I'm also going to go in with the Lorac Pore Fection. This is a pore filling silicone based primer. Now when you're using a silicone based primer, you really want to get every angle of attack from every pore, like really go in on it from every angle because you wanna make sure that those pores really get filled. Speaking of filling, my final primer I'm using is the NYX Pore Filler. It looks like brains! Now this is like a super heavy duty, like fill in your caverns of your face primer. So I'm using that on my big old forehead wrinkles and anywhere that I have like extra texture, like with my acne or big pores or, you know, whatever. Spackle it! Then I'm taking two MAC Full Coverage Foundations in the shades NW25 and W10. Now I'm using these for highlight and contour foundation. So first I'm going with W10 on all the high points of my face, my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, above my brow, around my mouth, my chin, and underneath where I'm going to put my cheek contour. Then I take the deeper shade, NW25, and I do my cheek contour, the sides of my nose, my temples, my forehead, and my jawline. I'm going to go in with cream contour on top of this, but I always like to start my highlight and contour with my foundation. Once I have those base colors laid down, I'm going to blend it all out with a damp beauty blender sponge, first using the pointy end to blend out the lighter shade, just dabbing very gently and thoroughly. Once I blended out that light shade, I flip my sponge around and using the kind of round edge, I'm going to blend out my deeper contour shade. As you move from blending one shade to the next, you really want to make sure you're using a clean part of the Beauty Blender sponge because you don't want to mix up those colors and ruin all the hard work you just did. Make sure to blend out your neck. I always forget to do this. Now for spot concealer, I'm just using my MAC Full Coverage Foundation in that shade W10. This is the exact same formula as the MAC concealer that's sold in the little pots, but you get more product and it comes in a wider shade range, so it's much better. 
Then for my cream contour and highlight, I'm using two OCC products. First, I'm going in with OCC's Vice. It is a cream color concentrate on a Morphe tapered foundation brush. And I am just going right over where I put that lighter W10 and really focusing on the highest points of those areas. So the center of my forehead, tops of my cheekbones, center of my nose and chin, and again, lightly underneath that cheek contour. Then I'm going to blend this out with a beauty blender. I think it's really important to blend out your cream highlight first before adding your cream contour. Then I'm taking the OCC Conceal Foundation in R3, and I am just using an OCC little contour brush and adding that as my cheek contour, my forehead, my nose, and around my jawline. And then I'm just slightly blending and buffing that out. I don't really have to blend this out too much because I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender, but I really want to make sure that that product is evenly distributed before I really go in and blend it out. Then I'm blending out that contour shade with my Beauty Blender. Now, when you're blending out your cheek contour, you want to make sure that you're blending upwards and not down so you don't get that crazy five o'clock drag queen shadow. If I find that I've blended away too much of my contour, I can always add more. Basically, this is the step for you to like kind of finish the way you want your cream products to look. You're not gonna have a chance once you've set them to kind of fix any of the blending. So you really wanna make sure everything is fully blended out and looks exactly how you want it. Okay, now I'm going in with a smaller detailed Morphe brush and just taking that Vice cream color down the center of my nose and making that nose highlight very sharp. Then I'm going in and kind of erasing it with my OCC R3 on an OCC brush. And then I'm just doing a cross over the tip of my nose to create that little button thing. And a quick blend. Then adding a little bit more contour in my Cupid's bow and under my lips. And then touching up that highlight again with Vice always going back and forth between the beauty blender and brushes, making sure that the last thing I do is blend. Okay, now we are ready to cook or bake or whatever. First, I'm taking my NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in the shade Snow on a big fluffy Morphe brush, I'm taking a lot of this product and just packing it onto the high points of my face, my cheekbones, my forehead, down my nose. But when I do my nose, I always clean it up with a clean e.l.f. contour brush just to make sure that I'm not also cooking that contour. Then I do my chin around my mouth, then I really make sure I pack on that highlight powder down the center of my nose. Now I set my contour and the rest of my face with the Cody translucent powder. A lot of people, especially if you have a darker skin tone, use this powder to set their highlight with and cook their highlight. But because I am so pasty, I use this for my contour. Make sure to get your ears. Then I'm taking an e.l.f. Kabuki face brush and just dusting all of that away. Now, you can leave this stuff on longer if you really want to bake and deepen the color, but I'm actually going to reapply my highlight before I do my eyes anyway, so I'm not worried about that yet. Then I'm going in with my powder contours. So first I'm taking MAC Pro Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt on an e.l.f. contour brush, and I am just really sharply creating that hollowed cheek bone situation. Then I'm going all the way around my jaw and then taking it on the tops of my forehead and temples. Down my nose. I love this brush because it is so precise that you can do your nose contour and cheek contour with the same brush. Save some money. Once I've added that initial shade sculpt, I'm going in with MAC Shadowy on the same brush. This is just a deeper contour shade. I'm adding that to the backs of my cheekbones, like the tops of my temples, and the back of my jaw, just to really deepen those edges. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending brush, and I'm blending all of that out. Again, this is a step where you really want to take your time and make sure that you have everything blended to your desired degree. I'm going with a smaller detail brush and touching up that nose highlight. And then this is where I'm adding my cooking powder that I'm going to leave on. So I'm putting on a thick layer of that NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder on my chin, cheekbones, and forehead, just to make sure that that stuff really pops as it cooks. This is also going to provide a layer of protection for any fallout that may come from your eyeshadows. I'm going back and touching up that contour as needed. Always blending as the last step. Boom. Wiping off my lips, getting all that powder and gunk off, and reapplying that OCC primer. And there, that's it. That's my contour and highlight and structure. My face, my mug, 
This is like naked Kimberly Clark face. You like? Yeah, yeah. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. The next video is the beginning of my eye look, this beautiful kind of glittery cut crease. It will include the shaping of the crease, the shading, the application of the glitter on the lid and everything like that. Someone requested that I do a tutorial on my look from my Summer Favorites video. And this is kind of, it's different colors and tones, but it's basically the same eye look. So if you are interested in that eye look, make sure to watch the next video and you'll be able to see how I apply my glitter. Thank Thanks so much, I'm Kimberly Clark. Stay tuned for the rest of this series and please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out my other videos. I'm really happy to be here and thank you so much for watching. Bye!